Yes! Hello, welcome, this is Geek Domo, and we fixed the problem, and we're back. Sorry about all that. Okay, so before we get going, I do want to say that Lemon had the best comment. Gonna eat after a sex, so I'll miss five to ten minutes. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, because are you gonna take that long to have sex? Or whatever? Yeah, the letter X being so close to the letter C on the keyboard is dangerous, to say the least. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, we're going to play War Thunder, and why are we playing War Thunder? Well, I'm getting excited about Star Citizen, and I wanted to play some flight sims because you don't want to jump right into Star Citizen without having beefed up your flight sim sort of play. And I've been playing a lot of MMOs, which nothing to do with flight sims at all. Uh, so I thought I'd play this game. Now... I ordered myself a new joystick. I had a, a Microsoft Force Feedback joystick from years ago that had the 9-pin connector, and PCs don't even have that anymore, so I had no way to connect it, so I just literally threw it in the garbage. It worked, but I couldn't make it, I couldn't make it work now. Hey, Banto. Yeah, the graphics are beautiful. So anyway, I jumped into this game because, first off, it's free-to-play. War Thunder is completely free-to-play. You download it, you play it, and then they tease you with a carrot on a stick to say... Wouldn't you like to have some better planes? And wouldn't you like to not die so often? Uh, and so you can play and work your way up and earn yourself more and more money, which you can buy more planes and all that. But the quick way to do it is to pay for a better plane right off the bat. Oh, there's some lag there. Ah. Okay, so War Thunder, you would think it's really great. We'll get into playing in just a minute, but I want to describe something. Uh, I got a new key, a new uh, joystick coming. It's a SciTech uh, X34 Pro, whatever. It's got a, you know, it's a, a HOTAS system which has the throttle and the joystick built into it, and that's coming next week or so. It should be here. But so I tried starting to fly the game playing with this, which is my Xbox 360 controller with a cord. I just plugged it in. I was like, ah, it's got a joystick. I can fly like this. Um, wow, what happened? I lost my plane. That was weird. My good plane. Where'd my good plane go? Here we go. My hurricane. Oh, I must have hit a button. Okay, let me unplug it. Anyway, so I was playing with this. And it doesn't... The, 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 it's, the joystick is so freaking sensitive that just even like laying on a tiny bit make your plane do loops. So I turned those sensitivity way down, still didn't fix it, and I was like, ah, this sucks. And so um, somebody said, you know what, you really should be playing with your mouse. And I'm like, I, I, I'm not playing with a mouse to fly a plane, are you nuts? But apparently all the pro War Thunder people play with, the mi play with mice flying because... It auto flies where you look. So when you take your mouse and you move it over to the left, you'll see in just a second. Uh, you, you, you fly that way, so you don't ever actually have to worry about your ailerons, your rudder, or anything. You just sort of fly with your mouse, and it's amazing. It's it's so much better to play with your mouse than it is with a joystick. That just drives me nuts. It should not be that way. In a real flight sim, you should be able to be forced to play with a joystick, but you're not. All right. So no giveaway today. So. We'll be doing that this week. We're going to be playing a lot more this week, and so sometime later this uh, this week, I will be doing another stream. Uh, I didn't put it on my schedule today, but uh, we'll be streaming all week, and then we'll give away later on. Alrighty? Alright, so let's get into a battle. I, I started off with a Fury Mark One. I since got rid of it, and I then earned my way up to a Nimrod, which is another biplane. All these planes are so slow, and the best biplane I own is a Tux Gladiator. And uh, it's not a bad plane, sealed cockpit, pretty good flight, pretty good speed, but I just last night earned myself a Hurricane Mark I, which is a lot like the old Spitfire. So, looks a little bit like one. But it's a fixed wing plane, very nice. So let's go ahead and get in a battle. Unfortunately, I can't get War Thunder to run on this screen, so I have to look this way. So I'll, I'll keep looking over at the chat. You were streaming this earlier, Jaguar? It's fun to watch somebody else do it, isn't it? So 
So the basic controls, WASD, uh, W is speed up, S is slow down, A and D do uh, use your ailerons and your rudder a little bit to help you move with the mouse. If you want to spin faster, you can use those two keys. And then mouse is just left mouse button is a fire and right mouse button is um, to zoom in. Oh, you're streaming uh, StarCraft 2 and Dota. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not much into, uh, and, you know, first person, or, okay, it's a battle. Oh, I'm picking my plane. I'm not much into, like, PvP as much, but this game is built for that. Oh, this is a tough one. Can you guys hear the volume of the game okay? I'm gonna fly up here with these guys. I don't know where they're going, but they all seem to be going up, so we're gonna go with them. And as you see, as I move my mouse around, it just, it flies the plane for me. Flying in the mountains is really dangerous. Alright, I guess what I gotta do is destroy the enemy base, and those little red dots are the enemy base, and then the red planes are flying in the air, and it tells you how many meters, kilometers you are to them. I'm gonna get to a little bit of a dogfight here. I'm gonna go after Stelnar Gladiator. down. I didn't even get a hit on him. As uh, as you hit planes or you hit other players or whatever or you shoot ground targets you get experience points. Just for hitting them. You don't have to knock them out of the sky. Yeah, I'm trying to rip my wings off with 11 G's, wasn't I? See you there, Runway X. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and strafe on our so uh, you can push your power up to 110%. On a jet, it would be an afterburner, but on a prop plane, it's basically... Oh, somebody shooting at me. Got 60 experience points for shooting through the anti-aircraft. Up at the top is... Our team is blue, and the bad guys are red, just like in uh, um, Smite League Legends. Oh, I gotta wait till my things reload. My, my guns reload. Oh, gun is, gun is jammed. Ah, unjam it! Phone call. Yeah, I just have to let it ring. I can't get to it. Right now. Guess this is the end of the base. Uh, when am I going to be giving a game away a game? Uh, definitely this week. Uh, probably sometime in the next few days. Hello. The enemy is attacking our base. What happened there? <laughs> I did a soft landing. That guy is flying a, a airboat. Japanese airboat. What the heck? Performed a soft landing, so. Now I get to pick one of my other planes, because that one's crashed. So, yeah, sometime this week, uh, we'll be doing another giveaway. I think probably on, like, Wednesday's show. I did not die, I did not get destroyed. I actually was trying to spin around, and uh, I landed on the mountain, funny enough. So anyway, the blue line is ours, the red line is theirs, and every time we destroy something, either a ship or a plane or a ground defense thing, which is what we're supposed to be destroying, it 
knocks the thing down again. seconds I can re reload my weapons. That's too bad. My, that, that plane I had, I could shoot forever. There's a lot of kamikazes in this game because you can actually be effective as a kamikaze. Okay, I took out the artillery. As you notice, the red line now is going down. Our blue line is still holding up. So if we can keep this up, we can win this. Oh! He, he knocked me out. How is that possible? Crazy! Alright, let's get into our old Tux Gladiator. That's my, that's my favorite bike plane. I did a lot of flying with that. It'd be cool if you could jump out of the plane and navigate your way to an engine room. I don't know what you mean. This is just a, it's an airplane, so it's, these are old airplanes. Historically correct airplanes, but you would not have gone up against a Japanese seaplane at the same time you're going up against biplanes and all this. So it's basically what you can afford in this particular uh, style. Gameplay. This is kind of arcade. They do have a historical one where you can fly historic missions. Seconds till my I refuel or refill my uh, bullets. That guy's got a rear gunner. No way, he's shooting at me. Oh no! I took out my wings. No! Ah! <laughs> Azon mash. Oh, I died in a fiery blaze into the mountain. Oh, it's so close too. All right, going into the old Nimrod, which I absolutely can't stand. Whoever named the plane a Nimrod. I don't know, but maybe it's now, maybe it's historically correct. Maybe now it's, it's it makes fun of somebody by calling him a Nimrod, but back in the day, maybe that was, it sounded cool. So close. Oh, we lost a guy. Tibbs quit. Why'd you quit, Tibbs? Quitter. Again, and I don't have a speed to keep up with him. He's got a fast plane. Oh, it looks like they're gonna win. Hello, Lemon. Welcome back. Oh! Plane burnt up. Oh, wow, look at that plane. He's got boobies. That is cool. Not very historically accurate, but... Let's, let's, let's look around here. Let's go. I'm gonna go back to that plane with the boobies. What the heck? He must be a subscriber or something. I have a plane that he can put his own logo on. So yeah, I'm totally new at this game. Uh, the stream today will go for an hour or so. I'm probably gonna take a break in a second though. Somebody was calling me and I well, the only people who call me is if something's really important, so I'm gonna have to Take a little bit of a pause and we'll be back. Alright, we lost. It's okay. Alright, give me just a minute. I'm going to pause the stream.
Or right, the stream will stay going, but I'll be I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my be right back. Let's see how I did though. I I destroyed an aircraft. Ooh, look, I got a victory. Ooh, fifty thousand lion head thingies. Every time you get fifty thousand, you can buy another crew. Did I make it level two yet? No, pretty close. Um, critical hit, surface units destroyed two, battle time. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, give me just a moment. I'm gonna um. Actually, I think I will stop the stream, but I'll be back, okay? Be right back. Oop, wrong thing. Wrong one. No, we don't want that one. Alright, be right back, guys. Thanks a lot. Be right back. <laughs> 